The Toyota Fortuner is one of the rare vehicles in India that commands unparalleled street fit. Now Toyota offered the Fortuner with both 4x4 and 4x2 variants. However, if you wanted an automatic gearbox, you could get it in the 4x2 variant only. Now Toyota realized the importance of having a 4x4 automatic variant in its lineup and as a result, you now have this. Toyota have given the big Fortuner some small visual tweaks including slightly smoked out head and tail lamps in addition to giving the fog lamps chrome bezels. The overall look is completed by new 12 spoke dark grey alloy wheels that coupled with the new mica grey colour give the Fortuner a particularly menacing presence on the road. As if it was already one of those vehicles that make road users scurry out of its way. Now for this variant, Toyota has given the option of all black interiors which adds a sporty touch to the car. Apart from that, the dashboard remains the same which uh, doesn't look the best I would say but still quite functional and uh, everything works like uh, clockwork as well. Uh, apart from that, uh, Toyota has also given uh, electrically adjustable driver seat for that added bit of convenience. The interiors are familiar but are now in all black theme with a little wood garnish on the dash and door pad adding some class. The look is simple and rather dated but Toyota makes up for it by making sure there are plenty of creature comforts. This being a top end model gets cruise control, autos and an headlamps with washers, a reverse camera, power adjustable driver's seat and a new touchscreen infotainment navigation unit that now features voice control. However, the unit looks like an aftermarket add-on and is also a little slow to respond. Nevertheless, it offers comprehensive connectivity options including aux, USB and Bluetooth. The seats are comfortable, there's lots of space in the middle row and with the bearably spacious third row folded up, you have access to a massive storage area. Boring looks aside, the Fortuner interior makes sure you're comfortable and you don't really feel wanting for any more features. Thanks to its massive size, the Toyota Fortuner has always been a genuine seven-seater. The middle row has adequate leg room, you've got good under thigh support and it's quite spacious for uh, three people sitting abreast. However, once you move to the back, that's the third row, things start to get a little cramped. Uh, the third row at best is used for kids or for short rides only.
The Fortuna always came with a very powerful engine. The 3 liter D4D turbo diesel puts out a very impressive 171 PS of power and a very meaty 343 Nm of torque. Torque spread is excellent throughout the rev range and the variable geometry turbo spools up as and when needed which makes overtaking a very easy affair. Now it might sound a tad bit noisy but there is no denying the brutal strength of this engine. The other new thing in uh, this Fortuna is the 5 speed automatic gearbox which is similar to the one used in the two wheel drive. Now this isn't a high tech twin clutch unit like you see in the other cars but this is a proper old school torque converter. Gear change is a little slow but uh, the power in the engine more than makes up for it. Now you don't get uh, paddles behind the wheel or uh, neither can you shift uh, into tiptronic mode but you can hold on to second, third or fourth gear whenever you need it. The 3 litre engine carries over unchanged and produces the same 171 PS and 343 Nm of torque. The gearbox adds about 30 kg to the Fortuner's weight. Performance is very similar to what we got on the automatic 4x2 variant. Slightly over 12 seconds run to 100 km per hour and a top speed just short of 185 km an hour. Fuel efficiency is again quite close to its rear wheel drive sibling and the overall figure of about 10.9 km per litre is fair for a vehicle of its size. Plus, the 80 litre fuel tank will see long gaps between visits to the fuel station and easily achievable 1000 plus kilometers highway stints. Dynamically, not much has changed. The car feels soft, irons out most bumps, and overall ride quality is quite comfortable. The steering is hefty but not overly so, and the commanding driving position makes it easy to maneuver this behemoth in traffic. High speed behavior is rock solid, and the brakes offer very smooth and progressive performance. Off-road capability is still superb as you have an option of a low ratio gearbox, but it's not a shift on the fly unit. The Fortuna may be old, but it still manages to hold its own in the company of new arrivals. And now even more so thanks to this 4x4 automatic variant. At 27.8 lakhs, it isn't cheap, but still a unique proposition in the sea of soft orders out there.